if you're looking for something fun to do with the family this winter, why not check out your local library? Ryan Rumbaugh joins us live from Jefferson City to show us that it's not only about the books. Good morning, guys. Yes, happy Friday. I'm here in Jefferson City at the Missouri River Regional Library, and we're talking about, you know, it's not just books anymore. We're having a lot of fun here. I'm joined this morning by Paula. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we are in the kids' area, obviously. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And you said this is one of those areas that people are used to, you know, well, they come in and they say, wow, this is a different place than it was when we were, when I was a kid yeah. and I used to come here. We have a lot more open space mm -hmm. now and lots to yeah, do. Lots to do. We have our, our board books back here and the train mm -hmm. and, you know, and our big Legos over there are a really big hit. Yeah. So we're talking about, um, it's not just books. Yeah. You guys have a lot of programs for we kids do. and teens. We of do. Of course, you have your book programs. Tell we me about do. that. Yeah. We have three book programs that we do. We have um, Bookworms which is for kids third to fifth grade. And Angie Bain, our children's librarian, mm -hmm. is the one who is the moderator for those okay. discussions. You said your moderators are pretty, you're the there rock stars. Are librarians <laughs> for the children's and the teen departments. And I think, yeah, they're, they are. They make they, it a lot, a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, and the kids come into the library, they're like, where, where's Angie, mm -hmm. where's Courtney? This is, yeah, that's this awesome. is fun. So our, um, we have novel ideas, that's for sixth to eighth graders. Okay. And then we have, um, um, pizza and pages of course there really is pizza, pizza that okay. night can and I that's come? for the teens <laughs> uh, you have to register but it's actually more for teens oh, okay. I'm sorry all right all right <laughs> and um, but it does sound like they, fun. yeah and the library provides a book the kids get to keep that book and mm -hmm. take it home and read it and then come back and have a discussion about yeah, it something we were talking about I don't think people think or believe that things are free anymore. Every every program, everything here is all free. We we have our our free programs, mm -hmm. yes. And what's so this? We got this in front this of us. This one, right this one here is this is a new thing for our children's department. They have a craft program, and this will be our program for um, for February. Okay. And you what can look it? on our calendar to see what the exact dates are. But this is called Snap Circuits, and cool. we have um, several sets of these. The program is limited to twelve ki or twenty kids between the ages of eight and twelve. Okay. And um, you can make a, a variety of things: alarms, lights detectors there are a lot of cool things but this is one and it's snap because all of these pieces snap okay. on to the board here this is cool and so, you know this isn't the only thing you can make you could oh no you could fill up fill this, up this whole, whole board thing. and there there are yeah there's a space wars uh, mm -hmm. sound thing cool. and then if you flip that switch right this there is so cool. this is fun okay and then turn it off Whoa. <laughs> I've, I've only done this about 20 times this morning. <laughs> That's a lot so, of fun, though. So, so all these programs are free, and all you have to do is claim your spot, right? Right, yeah. You need to call the library and, mm -hmm. and, and let us know that you're going to be coming. Yeah, so and there's always can. stuff going on, so check yes. their website and their calendar. When we come back in just a little bit, we're going to talk about some adult events going on and check out there's an awesome art gallery here, so we're going to go down there and check that out, too. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. Welcome back. There's a lot more going on at your local library than you may think. Ryan Rumbaugh joins us live from Jefferson City with some ideas for winter family fun. Good morning, guys. Yes, like you said, Dick, I'm in Jefferson City at the Missouri River Regional Library. We're talking about things that you might not know that are happening at your local library. I'm here this morning with Claudia. Good morning. Good morning. Now, where are we at right now? We're in an art gallery. We are. We are on the second floor of the library in the Merle Art Gallery. Right now, we're featuring artists. John Michael Holman from Fayette, Missouri. Cool. I met him in Columbia. I bought a piece of his art and invited him to be one of our artists. And this whole room is stuffed by him, which yeah. is awesome. And it's, it's so beautiful. beautiful. Yes, we have artists four times a year, and it really brightens up this room. We have mm -hmm. so many activities up here. Yeah. And so um, for all those activities, we've got this great backdrop. Yes, and you show movies in here. You guys do right. yoga in here. Tell yoga, me Yoga, it's twice a week, Wednesdays at 5.30 and Thursday mornings at 9 o'clock. We have a variety of adult programs, and most of the time they're held in here. Okay. Um, we've got authors, we've got experts, we've got how-to um, people who come from around the community. Yeah. From all over Missouri, actually. We bring people from all over the state to talk about things um, mm -hmm. for our adults. And um, if you're looking for something to do, please 
check out our program guide, check yeah. out our website. Tons on the website. See if there's something that appeals to you. And it's all free. It's all free. <laughs> it is. Just your library card. Well, you don't need a library card to come to a program, but we'd love it if you get a library card. Awesome. Well, you've got also a book club for adults as well. We you do. And it's less, less of a time commitment. Tell me about That's that. That's right. Um, I'm one of the leaders of the discussion group called Fiction at Noon. We meet every other month. So if you're a busy okay. person and maybe not a fast reader, you can read a book um, in a couple of months rather than maybe in a month, mm -hmm. like a lot of books book clubs do. Yeah. We're meeting, reading Major Pettigrew's Last Stand, the end of January. We meet the last Tuesday of the month. It's at noon. You can bring your lunch. Cool. Um, Who doesn't like that? Yeah. Lots of crafts. I got, I've got. i been raving over this all morning. What is this? How cool is this? It's a Chinese lantern. They made it one of our craft programs. They did it in the adult craft program and in the teen craft program. Oh. And I don't know how much time it took. I remember uh, one of the uh, women who did it saying they were close to the wire. The library yeah. was about to close and they I were trying bet. to wrap it up. But a uh, duct tape purse and um, a dyed scarf. And we do a lot of things with books. Cool. Which is What's that? This is a little box made out of a, a book. That's awesome. We have craft programs uh, on the second Tuesday and Wednesday um, of the of the month. We also have knitting. Uh, knitting um, classes on the fourth Tuesday of the month. And if you're a beginner, you can come and they're advanced people who are willing to teach you. And mm -hmm. we've got some yarn, but you need to bring your needles. Okay. And um, they have a lot of fun. All fiber artists are welcome. Nice. A little I, something for everybody. That's true. And I forgot to say, we show m movies in this room. Mm. Sounds good. Friday night films, movies, free. Yoga, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Feature films and indie films. Um, I, th I, think I think we've just go. got a lot this going on here. This is multi-purpose room, and it really serves for <laughs> that's that. That's right. So that's much right. going on here. When we come back, we're going to head downstairs. We're going to talk about some of the technology you guys have here that you might not have known about at home. But for now, we'll send it back to you guys. Well, libraries are not just about books and research anymore. There's also fun to be had by the whole family. Ryan Rumbaugh joins us live from Jefferson City with ideas for some winter fun. Ryan. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I'm in Jefferson City at the Missouri River Regional Library. And yes, we're talking about fun things you can do at the library, but there's also great resources for that research. That's right. I'm here this morning with Claudia. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Now we're in another area of the library. This That's place right. is huge. It Tell is. It is area. big. We are in the Public Computer Center. There okay. are 30 computers here. Um, and to your right, Mm -hmm. Or left, I guess, for them. Anyway, we have the periodicals room. It's <laughs> over there, over there. Um, and it's our quiet reading room. Okay. So when you're looking for a quiet space, we do still have one at the library. Yeah, there's you're, a lot of stuff going on. Maybe a little bit of hustle and bustle in here, so it's not always pitch, you know. Exactly. Pitch quiet. Exactly. So if you want that quiet space, mm -hmm. come down here. Um, we've got a great computer center with a lot of resources. We've got a documentation center that scans, faxes, uh, makes coffee, you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, <I wish. laughs> very nice. We are part of the digital landscape yeah. here at Missouri River Regional Library, and I want to talk about things that maybe people don't know that we have ebooks. We have thousands of free ebooks okay. accessible to our patrons. All you need is a library card. Um, we're part of a consortium. I also buy books um, that are not part of that consortium, but uh, are just for our patrons mm -hmm. as well. So I can so have my Kindle or my that's iPad. That's right, or your iPad or whatever Instead device of you have. It, you can rent it for free. That's exactly right. Just Good with your time. library card and downloadable audio as well. Mm -hmm. We also have free digital magazines. Cool. They will stay on your device. Um, they don't expire. So, you know, when you want to delete them, you delete them. Wow. So um, that's pretty cool. And we have yeah. about 80 different magazines to choose from. So there's got to be something for you. Yeah, that's very cool. That's something right. Something that you, you know, you come to the library, you think about books, but it's the digital age now. That's so right. So there's something for everybody. Right. The library is wherever you are. You yeah. can access it from your phone, your iPad, mm -hmm. whatever you've got. Um, you've got a tech team here that can help people. Maybe we do. With a new computer we do. Or problem computer. Tell me about that. Yes, we have. Um, two, well, actually, three people, but um, Jason and Nikki are the primary two that do the tech time, and they they spend individual time with people who call in and set up appointments. The person calls in and said, "I just got this for for Christmas. I got an iPad. I don't know what to do." It's probably a lot of people, right? Yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. or your Nook, or yeah. or whatever, or your iPhone even. Mm -hmm. So um, they set up time, and Nikki and Jason will meet with them one on one for an hour. That's awesome. And we don't have limits on that, so you can call several times and mm -hmm. um, have appointments with them. Uh, we also have someone else on staff named Brian who puts on uh, programs throughout the month about different topics concerning technology and he's also available to meet during the day as well. So okay. got a lot of opportunity to get some one-on-one -on -one help here at mm -hmm. the library. We've got um, all kinds of databases um, 
available to those doing research. And you don't have to come in here. You do need to come in and get a library card. But, but you once you've got that home. library card, you've got your access to all yeah. these great resources um, th that are, of, you know, it's just not searching on the internet and finding the source, then you don't know if it's really a valid source. And you know it's valid here. That's right. And awesome. you use these databases and, um, and, and you don't 